Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller and welcome back to some more Kirby 64 in this Redux walkthrough of mine. This is it humans. This is the final level, the final world, the final boss of the game. You can only unlock this level if you've obtained every single crystal shard in the game. And I have done that. In order to get to this level, you need to defeat all the bosses, get all the crystal shards, clear all the levels, everything. Once you save Ripple Star, you will unlock this level. Now, in the previous part, I did save Ripple Star. At the beginning of the game, Ripple Star was taken over by this thing called Dark Matter. I defeated all of the Dark Matter, and at the end, I fought this thing called Miracle Matter. After I defeated it, I got the last Crystal Shard, and it was revealed that Dark Matter was still existent. And it is the center planet right here, in the center of all the other planets. In order to bring this thing to an end, I have to go ahead and destroy this whole thing. I have to destroy the Dark Star. Here we go. Just like that, you're going to immediately dive into a level. There's no level select or anything, it's just one level. And the enemies that appear here are just really simple enemies. Once you inhale them, you won't get any copy abilities. It should be noted that the enemies that appear here only appear in two other levels. The very first level in the game, and the last level of Ripple Star. Otherwise, these enemies never appear again. All my helper friends here are going to help me out with this. Adeline here is going to paint me a Maximato so I can get the full health. And King Dedede will be over here as he prepares to knock me into the final battle of this entire game. Alright, King Dedede, let's do it! And of course, Ribbon, the fairy at the beginning of the game that seeked me out for help, is going to help me with this final boss fight. This boss fight is known as Zero Two. In Kirby's Dream Land 3, there was an enemy named Zero. He couldn't feel happiness. His goal was to destroy anything that appeared happy. In this game, he's returned in the form of Dark Matter, and after destroying all the Dark Matter on all of the other planets and saving Ripple Star, he appeared here, and he's back for revenge. In this boss fight, it is unlike any other boss fight in the game. It's almost like a rail shooter. I am directly using all of the Crystal Shard pieces that I gathered to attack Zero Two. Now, I have unlimited shots, but the only way to hurt this boss is to directly shoot Zero Two in the eye. Once you hit him enough times, he'll allow you to shoot the halo at the top of his head, and then you can shoot this green little spiky thing at the bottom. And this is where you can actually deal damage to him. Keep shooting this in order to deal damage. Now, he'll keep attacking you even during this state, so you have to constantly be on the move. You do only have six health points, so you gotta be careful. Getting hit six times means you gotta redo this whole boss fight. It is a rather simple boss fight, but it is a pretty interesting one. Remember when Kirby games were happy and jolly? Yeah, this final boss here is something that can't feel happiness. All that red that comes out of him when I shoot him? That is blood. I'm not making this up. Kirby games feature blood in them. This music's all serious. This atmosphere is so dangerous. This is certainly a worthy final boss. Bring it on, Zero Two. Yes, he's called Zero Two because, like I said, he was in Kirby's Dream Land 3. He was simply known as Zero. He was defeated and he came back. And this is his second appearance, Zero Two. This song also got remixed for Super Smash Bros. Brawl and it can be heard in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. This song is really, really epic, and this is certainly a very fitting final boss fight. As if Miracle Matter wasn't a scary enough boss in the previous part, this boss is actually quite scary. It literally features blood and almost makes Kirby games not available to be suited for rated E audiences. But here we go, he's almost done! Can I defeat him? Ugh, so close! That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Bring it on, Zero Two! I'm almost done with you. I'm almost ready to save the universe and destroy you once and for all! Almost done. <laughs> I cannot stress how epic this is, and I'm sorry if I'm ruining the moment by talking over it, but this is just amazing. Such a fun final boss, and such an epic final boss, too. Uh, I'm almost there. Uh, and he's, he's scary. I mean, he has a scary appearance. Like, this, this whole thing is scary. I talked about how at the beginning of the game, Kirby games always started off to be so happy and jolly, and as time goes on, you get this really dark tone, like... World 5 was named Shipper Star, and it was a snow planet, but it was actually Earth frozen over with evilness about it. Ripple Star is the last planet in this game, and it's very similar to the first planet in the game, but everything is all evil and dark. The final boss here, he's about to be destroyed, but he's also one of the darkest bosses in Kirby history. And now, die, Zero Two! Let's end this once and for all!
And that's it, guys. Now the credits are going to roll. Now, if you didn't collect all the crystal shards, then you will still see these credits. However, you will get the bad ending. You'll get an ending in which Kirby and his friends escape from Ripple Star, but evilness still lurks. If you get all the crystal shards, you'll fight Zero Two, you'll get that ending, and then you'll get, you know, happy jolly bonus stuff. All in all, this is just a fantastic game. And looking back at it and playing it again, it really is an impressive Nintendo 64 game. It's so good. The art is so great. The level design is so great. The music is so great. The atmospheres within the levels are so great. Ah, such a good game. Such a good game. And I hope that I gave it justice by redoing this walkthrough. Because I did this walkthrough six years ago. And, you know, a lot of people watched that walkthrough, but I was personally dissatisfied with it. So I decided to redo it. And I hope that in redoing it, it proved to be worthwhile. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Redux walkthrough, and I hope that you guys enjoy my future videos. <sighs> I, I can't get this game enough credit. Like, I really liked this game, but playing it again, it's so amazing. And there you go, Masahiro Sakurai! Masahiro Sakurai is actually the creator of the Kirby games, but he did not involve himself in any other way other than being a voice actor in this game. He makes Kirby games, but he did not work on this game. The only thing he did was voice King DDD. Anyway. I, uh... <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is just such a good game. In fact, in the Kirby Dream Collection, the Kirby Anniversary Collection game for the Wii, they talk a lot about this game, and they show some storyboard pictures for when they animated the cutscenes and stuff, and they show some development pictures and how they transitioned enemies into 3D. It's really cool. If you have Kirby's Dreamland or Kirby's Dream Collection, I strongly advise that you guys look at the Kirby 64 portion, because it's just really, really cool. I actually don't own Kirby's Dream Collection, I just bought the booklet because I wanted to see how this game came to be, and it's just so, so good! Such a good leap into 3D while still staying traditional to Kirby roots. Ah, uh, such a good game. I hope that redoing this walkthrough actually proved to be useful, and I hope that, you know, posting two videos a day and keeping you guys entertained proved to be worthwhile, and I hope that you guys were entertained, I hope that you guys enjoyed the ride. I knew it would be pretty short, but I hope that you guys enjoyed everything that I did. Ah, such a good game. I can't stress that enough. I'm sorry to be so repetitive, but this is just such a good game! Ah, and I'm glad that Kirby games are still going strong, but for some reason this game just... This game is just amazing. It's probably one of my favorite Kirby games, alongside Kirby Superstar Ultra and Kirby Triple Deluxe, but it's hard to say which one is better than the other. And you know what? I'm just letting this cutscene go by. I should probably press the A button and get out of this, so give me just a second. There we go. Alright. However... There is still one more part of this walkthrough. It's just going to be me showing extras. As you can see here, I have 100% on the file select screen. But there is some extra stuff that I would like to show. So I'll save that for the next part. It'll just be like the bonus part or whatever. So for now, that wraps up this part of my Kirby 64 Redux walkthrough. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time on the next part when I show off all this stuff. Bye-bye, humans.